How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Grand Archive video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we're going to be opening up exactly what I just showed you, this exclusive Grand Archive promotional pack unique to me. Look, it has a little RZR on it, which is freaking awesome. I don't know if you can see this. Did I get it properly in focus? In any case, we're going to be opening this up, and we're going to be talking about how Grand Archive is progressing so far. So Grand Archive is a game, on all transparency, that I backed pretty heavily on Kickstarter because I, I just really love the game. I love the gameplay, I love the art. Um, I talked with the creators of the game, even played a couple, couple games here with them on the channel, and I think it's a fantastic game and I think it will um, go pretty far. So I have a lot of faith in Grand Archive and uh, I'm really, really excited for it. So I, I've been, following and uh, keeping tabs on how they're doing. And so they've been doing quite well so far, actually, in the interim. I think it's pretty hard for a lot of these Kickstarter games to maintain like excitement and hype. And Grand Archive, I think, is doing a pretty good job of it because they are doing things like this, like these little promotional packs. I think these are updated versions of you know the cards and the card stock and all of that kind of stuff. That's really important to them, I know. They want their cards to look as good as possible. And you know, if I was making a card game, it would be the exact same thing. Uh, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, they're, they're taking a lot of care into this and I don't really know what's in here. So this will be really, really exciting. We can compare this to some of the other test print cards that I have. They've also been um, providing new and updated artwork and I'm gonna show some of it here and it's so good. If you like the anime style, this is so good. This looks better than any other anime card game on the market right now, period. Other than Wee Cross, we, we're not going to count Wee Cross. Wee Cross looks the best, but next to Wee Cross, this is the best looking. In my opinion, it's on a whole other level than those like screenshot artwork games. I'm looking at you, uh, Final Fantasy and Y Schwartz. This is unique artwork, you know, with their own characters, their own brand new IP. It's exciting and it puts it on a whole other level than those other rehash bland, lazy artwork anime games. So really, really excited for uh, Grand Archive just as a whole. Oh, also I didn't mention um, the community. The community is still really, really strong. And that's something that's really important to a lot of these Kickstarter games. Grand Archive has a really strong community and there's been multiple like tournaments. The game's not even out yet. and <laughs> There's multiple tournaments. So that says a lot for the future of the game. So without further ado, let's open up. I set it aside. Let's open up this promo pack and uh, take a look at what is in store. All right, so I have gathered all of the current Grand Archive cards that I own, including some of these test print cards. Now this test print Lorraine is probably the oldest version of this type of stuff that I have. This one was actually given to me as part of the art contest. They didn't give it to me because I was a content creator. I actually um, got a runner up or a random prize or whatever in the art contest. So that's pretty cool. So we have this Lorraine. Then we also have this Lorraine, the festive night. It says yours to keep, Red Zone Rogues copy. is mine, this is mine. And then we also have a festive night Lorraine. I don't think we'll be comparing this one all that much because I don't think they went with this pattern, knowing what I know, but I think we can kind of compare these two. Um, this one's a much more muted version and you can also see the differences on the card back. So in order to facilitate those ends, let's go ahead and actually take these out of their protective protective casing we're gonna we're gonna expose them <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go there i'm not gonna go there but um yeah we're let, let's let's take these out um the yeah so here we can see this lorraine festive night very very shiny you know what let's do one more we'll even remove it from the penny sleeve and we can see the the back of the card as well it does have somewhat of a uh, texture to the back as you can see very nice reminds me of like a force of will back almost where it's a like semi textured and here's like the oldest version right you can still see some of the foiling looks really really nice even for this old version but you can see the back is much more glossy compared to the matte back on this one see a little bit of a difference there all right so let's take a look at the new stuff Enough of the old stuff. Let's take a look at the new stuff. This promotional pack from Grand Archive, not intended for resell. Well, that's good. I'm not going to be reselling this. Uh, con uh, contents, one or more cards based on this identifier code, RZR. Um, 
for help, contact that, and then also just uh, Grand Archive TCG. Their website, by the way, is updated and it looks fantastic. If you haven't checked it out in a while, I highly recommend doing that. Um, how do I want to? How do I want to do this? I kind of want to just just cut it a little bit, but also we can we can. Hmm. All right, so I did find some scissors. Scissors and booster packs and cards always make me nervous. I know a lot of folks like to open it like this, but I do not. It makes me nervous. But this pack is so, uh, like you can definitely tell where the cards are. Um, you don't run the risk of accidentally cutting into the cards. So we'll just cut this off. Not quite all the way. I should probably just cut it off all the way, but. All right, let's take a look. I I'm, I'm really excited, man. I, I really don't know what's in here. So uh, I think this is going to be fairly exciting. Ooh, okay. Oh, interesting. They're like pre-sleeved pre in the pack. That's, that's super, super weird. All right. So we have three cards. Three cards. I also have the card back. Hold on. The card back is much brighter now. Look at it. it it's more similar to the original one here as opposed to this really dark, this dark printed one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure which one I like more. All right, so we have, let's just flip it over from the front. Okay, okay, it's black. Oh, I, I think I can tell what these are. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll start with this one here. All right. Um, yeah, I definitely think I could tell what, what this one is. Um, or I think I could tell what all of them are. So I think we, we have more Lorraine, best best girl Lorraine, but I think we have some Lorraines that I have not seen before. These are kind of the, the I don't know what I'm gonna call them, the sealable inner sleeves. That's what these basically are. Oh, okay. All right, dude, look at that. That looks really nice. Ooh, the texturing on the back is really nice too. Oh, it's much more gray as well. Okay, hold on. Let's let's kind of get a good comparison of all three of them here. So these are the three Lorraines I currently have, right? And you can see the difference. Like this inking is much darker yeah, this looks so nice. Like, look, look at the, like, compare the inking. Like, this one just pops, right? It looks super, super nice. And also, you can see some balancing changes. Their health totals, like, uh, this is 16, now it's uh, 17 here. So, the game is progressing. Things are changing, which is fantastic. They're, they're listening to uh, community feedback. You can see some other templating changing here. Uh, you have on enter and enter effect, and you also have. Uh, the more updated version says warrior human, whereas this one just says warrior, which means we can have like elves and dwarves and, you know, non-humans. Uh, very, very cool. Um, yeah, I, 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 I dig, I like this new one. And let's, let's compare the backs. So like this one was like really glossy. This one is more like the matte finish like this one here. But, well, no, wait, they're both... This one, well, no, this was a glossy one. It was hard to tell. This one is so much more matte than the others that it's 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 very very noticeable, and it's it's definitely got this texture on it. Yeah, you you can feel the texture. It's really nice. Yeah, I uh, I really like what they're doing here. It, it looks really nice, and so this is this is I think pretty close to what they want these to be. Yo, th this looks great. Look at the the spot foiling on like the eyes. All right, let's check out the other cards. So I love being able to compare the, the, the design process here, you know? Uh, this one is, you know, a, a different kind of card. It's like a full art promo card. The shininess is, is very, very shiny and obvious. I, I like this one. It's very classy and subtle. It looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. On the cardstock, um, it's thicker. Definitely thicker than all these other ones too. Um, yeah, it, it, like I said, it feels more like a Maybe like a Force of Will card? Or like a Wii Cross card? Hmm. All right, well, let's check out this one. Now we're gonna see some stuff that we've, I've never seen before. Like in, you know, in card form, I suppose. Um, so here we have another Lorraine. Lorraine Blademaster. Oh my God, dude. Look at the foiling on like the, uh, those are little flowers. This card is gorgeous. Yeah, there we go. We get the, the foiling on it. Oh yeah, oh, that's really nice. Dude, I can't tell you how excited I am to get my 11 boxes of Grand Archive. That's right, I I was in for 11 boxes. 
I think I was diamond tier. And then I ordered more boxes on top of that. <laughs> um, oh my God, dude. I can't stop looking at it. It looks so good. And I love how much of the card is art on here. Like, way, it's like the opposite of magic, right? This would be the text box and magic and the art would be, and the art would be there. Not that extreme, but uh, kind of, kind of. Um, and then here is the final one. I think this one is Crux, the Lorraine Crux Knight. Um, let's get my finger down, finger, finger in there. All right, here we go. Yeah, it is the Crux Knight. Oh my God, dude, it's so good. They are doing such a good job with the foiling. Look at the spot foiling on this, right? Like on parts of her armor. This is what I'm talking about. This is one of the best looking card games out there. It's not even out yet. And the people designing this game really, really have an eye for aesthetics. Like Grand Archive is going to be, when it launches, probably tied with Wii Cross as the best looking anime game on the market. Like what, what game looks better than this? Vanguard? Nah, Vanguard looks all right. But like the foiling is not even, no. Um, Final Fantasy, no. Um, like Dragon Ball Super, I, I don't think so, man. Like this is so, so good. Uh, and then obviously not like Force of Will or anything like that or, or Weiss. Yeah, this is fantastic. I'm so excited for this. These, these look phenomenal. Yeah. Um, how is the, yeah, you can kind of see where they, they punched the card a little bit right here. You can see, kind of see where they punch it a little bit. I'm curious to see who the manufacturer is, if they ever release that information. Um, I think these are, they look phenomenal. Like if, if this is what the cards look like in the booster packs, um, I'd be very happy. Like they, they look great. Um, and here you can kind of see the whole evolution of it too. Like you see how you have your Lorraine Wandering Warrior and she kind of like levels up into Lorraine Blade Master who levels up into Lorraine Crux Knight. This is so cool. This is gonna be such a fun game to play too because what happens when you get like a Fire Lorraine or you know something like that, it's just gonna be a, a ton of fun to mix and match and like build the decks however you want. You can make like a Wind Lorraine or a Water Lorraine or uh, maybe she has another form later that's like even crazier. This is the Crux form, but maybe she has a different form. Um, and once again, compared to the, the original test print card, it's like so much darker. It's, it's even darker in real life. The, the camera does a, does a lot of work here and showing, like making it brighter, but like this one, it, even in real life is, is very, very nice looking. So yeah, that, that's it for the grand archive update. Um, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think they're doing a fantastic job with the art and the cards and the gameplay. And they're like, you know, balancing things and making it more, you know, taking community feedback. They're getting amazing artists. So this art is actually done by Honchu. I uh, commissioned her to do this playmat uh, a little while ago and grand archive team recognized her skill and um, she's doing some art for Grand Archive. And that's so amazing because she's obviously phenomenal. So um, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a great many things with, with Grand Archive. I know their spoiler season is going to be coming up in a few months, probably closer to the September date, but I'm really looking forward to that as well. No word whether I'm gonna be involved in the spoiler season or not, but you know what? If they're gonna do it by themselves, uh, that's cool too. I will still be very, very keen on watching everything unfold. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Grand Archive. If you backed it, if you wish you backed it, um, what do you think of these test print cards? Cause holy crap, dude. Like so many other games are lazy. They're just like, you know, foil the whole, foil the whole thing. Now they're taking the time to do like this really, really awesome spot foiling and it's really paying off. These cards are gorgeous. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you next time for some more card game content. See you later.